So what is Entresto? Entresto is this small but incredibly important pill. It's not just one drug, it's a combination of two medications. It works by helping your heart pump more efficiently, literally helping it breathe easier. We're going to break it all down simply because understanding your options is the first step to better heart health. Let's dive in. So here's the deal. Heart failure doesn't mean your heart has stopped working. It means it's not pumping blood as well as it should. This can lead to symptoms like fatigue, shortness of breath, and even swelling. It's serious, but with the right treatment, people can live better, more active lives. Let's imagine your heart is like a big city trying to keep traffic moving smoothly. The streets, your blood vessels, are meant to let cars, your blood, flow freely. But when there's a traffic jam, let's say a construction zone in the city, everything slows down and cars pile up. That's heart failure. The traffic or blood isn't moving as fast or efficiently as it should. Heart failure is usually diagnosed with an echocardiogram, which measures how much blood your heart pumps with each beat. If that number is low and you're experiencing symptoms like shortness of breath, fluid buildup, fatigue, or even chest pain, that's when Entresto might come into the picture. Realistically, if you have heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, you should be on Entresto as it has become the gold standard for heart failure treatment at this point. The reason is because of this major study. Entresto reduced the risk of death by 24% compared to enalapril, which is an ACE inhibitor. ACE inhibitors and ARBs like enalapril, lisinopril, valsartan, losartan are used to lower blood pressure. Enalapril is similar to valsartan in that it helps lower blood pressure and treat heart failure. But again, Entresto is special because it combines valsartan and secubitril. Entresto is like the city's traffic management team. It's not just one person directing traffic, it's two. The first one, Secubitril, has a special role. It's like a construction crew that works quickly to clear the debris and widen the streets or dilate your blood vessels in this example. With those streets clear and wider, cars can move faster and the whole city flows better. At the same time, Secubitril is also like a crew that helps sweep away excess stuff, getting rid of extra sodium and water that's built up, reducing the swelling and easing pressure on your heart. But traffic flow also depends on having working traffic lights. This is where the second team member, Valsartan, comes in. Valsartan is like the one in charge of turning all the red lights green. It blocks signals in this case, something called angiotensin II, that would otherwise keep blood vessels tight and constricted. When Valsartan blocks those signals, the vessels relax even more, making it easier for blood to flow and helping your heart do its job with less effort. Together, Secubitril and Valsartan work as a dynamic duo. Secubitril clears the roads and reduces fluid buildup, while Valsartan makes sure the traffic lights stay green. It's a team effort that keeps your heart running more efficiently, helping to ease the pressure on the heart, reducing symptoms like shortness of breath, and ultimately keep the traffic flowing in your body. That's how Entresto works, by clearing the roads and opening up the streets so your heart doesn't have to work as hard to keep everything moving smoothly. Okay, so how do you take Entresto? Entresto comes in three different doses, starting at 24 milligrams of Secubitril and 26 milligrams of Valsartan. The next dose is 49 milligrams of Secubitril and 51 milligrams of Valsartan. And the highest dose is 97 milligrams of Secubitril and 103 milligrams of Valsartan. Most people start on the lower dose and then their doctor increases it every two to four weeks depending on how they're doing and tolerating the medication. It's taken twice a day with or without food. Here's the thing though, if you're already on an ACE inhibitor or an angiotensin receptor blocker like enalapril or valsartan, your doctor will stop those for 36 hours before starting Entresto. It's an important step to avoid complications. But if you've never had blood pressure and don't take those medications and suddenly you've been diagnosed with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, then your doctor will probably just start you on Entresto from the get-go. Now, some quick but really important warnings. You should absolutely avoid Entresto if you're pregnant or planning to become pregnant. 
Heart failure usually affects older adults, but it's possible for younger women to experience it, and this medication isn't safe during pregnancy. Also, about half a percent of people on Entresto experience something called angioedema, which is dangerous swelling of the face and lips. This is actually five times more common in black people. So if that's you, be extra cautious. If it happens, stop the medication immediately and talk to your doctor. Okay, now let's talk about side effects because every medication has them. The most common one with Entresto, low blood pressure. This happens to about 18% of people. So you'll want to check your blood pressure regularly and make sure it stays within a healthy range below 130 over 80 mmHg, but above 90 over 60 mmHg. Other side effects include increased potassium and creatinine levels, so blood tests are a must and in regular intervals. And then there's the usual suspects, cough, dizziness, nothing too wild here, but definitely something to watch out for. Now the thing about heart failure is that it does not go away on its own. If left untreated and if you're on less effective medications, your symptoms can get worse over time, leading to more hospital visits, more discomfort, and a much higher risk of serious complications. But here's the good news, taking Entresto as prescribed can change that outcome. It helps ease the strain on your heart, keeps your blood pressure in check, and it gives you a better chance to live a more active, fuller life. If you've been prescribed Entresto, it's very important to stick with it. Missing doses or not following through can put you at risk of your heart failure getting worse and nobody wants that. Talk to your doctor about Entresto if you haven't already. It's all about taking control of your heart health because you deserve that chance.